So good evening, everyone. Welcome to Spaces, and thank you so much for joining Monday evening today. We'll have a crisp session, and hopefully, we'll have some great takeaways by the end of it. Today, I'm uh, fortunate to be joined uh, uh, by senior officials from Giraffe, Giraffe, which is an alternative investment uh, firm. And today, I have with me Vikas Bansal, who is the head of the head of origination with 15 years of experience in banking. And uh, along with him, I have Pratik Goyal, who is the head of strategy for uh, uh, Giraffe. So welcome, uh, Pratik, and welcome, Vikas. Thank you so much for joining today. Thank you, Shaina. Thanks, Shaina. So uh, let's not uh, uh, delay this and let's start. So... Pratik, uh, there'll be uh, people who won't know about giraffe and, you know, they'll still be equating it to the animal. So please, uh, uh, you know, highlight what giraffe is and also tell us about the name a bit. <laughs> sure, China. So, uh, I mean, giraffe was founded by Saurav and Vineet. Both of them have been in the finance field for the last 10 to 15 years. Both of them have been in corporate finance and financial services, done a number of transactions in various forms of debt, uh, mezzanine, equity, SPVs, everything. And essentially, when they were talking, they said that for the common person, the debt opportunities have been limited to either fixed deposit or debt funds, or you then straight away jump to real estate, gold, and then public markets. So in the fixed income portfolio, it's really either FDs or debt funds, and then if you want to count uh, gold and real estate. So they said that what are the other opportunities between the 8 to 20% yield that we can bring to the common person that might help them create a more diversified portfolio for themselves. That was the objective and that was the thought behind Giraffe. Of course, when they started to dig in, they said uh, a lot of these opportunities have existed for a while. It is just that it was the privilege of the ultra-rich to participate there uh, and stuff like structured credit, leasing, invoice discounting, they've been around for about 20 odd years. It is just that the common man never got to participate there. And uh, that's when they got cracking and they said that, look, we'll build a tech platform. We will develop a team that can originate such opportunities. And we will set the minimum ticket at one lakh so that people can then participate and create a meaningful portfolio in fixed income. The name came uh, between a conversation between Saurav and his wife. Both of them are wildlife enthusiasts. So they said that, uh, can we figure out uh, an image, which means that you are reaching for higher returns than what one can expect. And uh, also the domain name Giraffe was available. We didn't want a name that was uh, too finance heavy. We wanted a name that was high recall, uh, still denoted what Giraffe is trying to do, which is trying to reach for higher returns. And uh, yes, that could have been popular. So that's the background to the name and to Giraffe. Wonderful, wonderful. That's very, very interesting. So uh, Pratik, is Giraffe recognized by any regulated, uh, regular, regulatory authority? Sorry. No. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, essentially, there are no fintech regulations in India at the moment. Almost all fintechs are not governed by either RBI or SEBI. But the instruments and the products that we originate, which is whether that is NCDs or whether that is doing a leasing transaction, those all have specific guidelines which have been laid out by either SEBI or RBI of how these securities should be issued, how these securities should be traded, how these securities should be priced. And we follow all of them. We hope that uh, in, in near future, the regulatory guidelines will come about and then all our, all our fintechs will have more clarity on how we should conduct ourselves. Till that point, we follow what is best prescribed and whatever the regulator suggests, though not as formal guidelines. So Pratik, then what is the process you follow to list any opportunity uh on the platform? What is the process that Giraffe goes through? What is the due diligence that's uh, been done and the level of it? I think uh, for us, the key is not to lose investor trust. So we have to be very, very careful when we pick any opportunity that we bring on to our platform. Because essentially, as a fintech platform dealing in investments, for us, the key is to win investor trust. 
So we spend a large amount of our time trying to assess any opportunity that we bring, which ranges from right from the first contact with the promoter, their background, their credibility, then to assess their business, whether the underlying unit economics is solid, then whether they have leverage on the books, how have they conducted themselves for the period that they've existed, and subsequently to the product that we are bringing in, which is whether that's a long tenor debt or a short term product, whether they can sustain that, what are the inherent risk of that product, and then how best can we mitigate it. So it's actually a two to three month uh, process before we bring in any opportunity. We've of course got a very experienced team that looks at it, and we have an internal investment committee process that goes through each of these opportunity robustly before it approves them. And we are constantly spending our credit team as well to make sure that the opportunities that we bring on the platform are really high quality ones. Okay, so Pratik, is there is there any external uh, party which is also involved uh, to oversee this uh, process or is it within Giraffe? So far, it is within Giraffe. We, of course, uh, deal with uh, Amar Chand and a couple of other law firms. We also interact closely with EY that advises us on the legal structure, that advises us on the tax structure. So in that sense, there are a couple of external parties that are involved. But the credit assessment that we do is in-house. We do want to have external members on our IC and hopefully in the next couple of months we will have that. And we hope that those will be people of repute and people of great experience that can enrich our process further. Wonderful, wonderful. So we've uh, understood a lot about Giraffe uh, today. And so basically today the opportunity or today the opportunity we are talking about is a fixed income alternative investment uh, opportunity. So uh, uh, Vikas, uh, welcome to Spaces. Uh, why don't you enlighten us a little about this current opportunity? Thanks, Shaina, for inviting us to speak on this uh, space. So just to let you inform you about the current opportunity, it's a NCD, which is a non-convertible convertible debenture, which is a fixed income product. It is of 15 months and issued by a global MNC, which is into the lending space, consumer lending space, and it is present into nine countries. So we are offering a NCD, which is of tenor of 15 months and which is externally rated triple B plus by Crystal and India ratings. And it is offering a yield of 12%. So this is the opportunity that we are offering. Okay, so, uh, but where can these NCDs be liquidated? So, uh, Shana, uh, there's a liquid, there's a hardly any liquidity in these products in the country. So the market is structured in a manner that you would find the liquidity only in triple A or double A plus space. So there's hardly buying or selling that happens in a lower rated paper, say A or triple B plus. Having said that, uh, by the nature of such products is that they are tradable, but there is no ready available market. So this is the gap that Giraffe is trying to address. So if anyone can find a buyer uh, or he can sell it over the counter, but uh, one has to put in the money uh, with the thought process that it would not be, he would not be able to liquidate it uh, within the specified period. So the specified period, uh, by the specified period, you mean 15 months in this case? Yes, that's correct. Okay. And what are, are, are these NCDs secured, Vikas? Yeah. So, Shana, the principal and inter accrued interest on this uh, NCD is secured by the receivables of the NBFC. Uh, what what we mean by the receivables is the loans that the company has given. So just to explain a bit further, uh, NBFC is a shadow bank which is into uh, into the business of lending. So on the asset side, they have their loans which they offer as security. So we have a charge on those loans to the extent of one x and covers our principal and the accrued interest. Vikas, you'll have to simplify it for me here. What what is uh, uh, 1x mean in this case? Okay, Which so for the benefit of retail investors. So yeah, I, I agree. I agree. So, uh, say, Shaina, if somebody invests uh, 1 lakh uh, into this instrument uh, 
and uh, as the opportunity it has a 12% IRR so uh, uh, for simplicity's sake let's say uh, one will get 1 lakh plus 12000 of return at the end of a year so this uh, for the similar amount of 1.12 lakhs we have the similar security cover in the form of the loan that company has offered so uh, one is the principal uh, 12000 is the interest over which we have the security cover so this is why we say 1x so against a loan of 100 and, and an interest of 12 we have the equivalent amount of security which makes it quite secure is what i understand yes. in very very lay person terms yes so uh, this is a secured bond and uh, this is where the risk gets further reduced and uh, you said that this is rated by Crystal. Is there any other agency involved in the rating? So the borrower is rated by Crystal India Ratings, which is a part of Fitch Group and Care. And this particular NCD is rated by India Ratings, which is part of Fitch. Okay, okay. Uh, so, uh, so how uh, what is the redemption process and what is the taxation on this opportunity i mean do i get the entire thing after 15 months or uh, uh, and what is the tax uh, involved in that time at that time so china how we have structured this product is keeping in the minds of uh, retail investors because retail investors uh, require money on a regular basis so he will be getting 20% of the interest every 90 every three months on a quarterly basis plus the accrued interest. So to simplify it further, if somebody invests 10 lakhs into this opportunity, he will get 2 lakh 17,000 rupees in his bank account on quarterly basis. So when five equal installment of 2 lakh 17,000, he will get his money back. And uh, you asked about the taxation. The yeah. tax uh, the taxation, uh, since these are non-convertible debentures, which is a sort of tradable loan taken by the company, uh, the investors earn interest over that amount. So the interest shall be uh, taxed as per the marginal tax rate of the investor. So if somebody is in the 10% uh, income bracket, he would be charged 10%. If somebody is in the 30% income bracket, he will be charged 30%. And if somebody is in the zero bracket, he will not be charged anything. Uh, yeah, one thing to, uh, key, uh, to uh, keep in mind, 10% uh, of the interest is uh, uh, is withheld by the company and pay paid as TDS. So the investor will uh, uh, will get this in its uh, twenty six AS. Uh, this will be highlighted in their tax returns. So the taxation is similar to that of an FD, if I can Correct. simply put it. Correct, hundred percent. So. You... Okay, so Vikas, uh, coming to a retail investor and you were initially comparing these with debt funds, etc. What do you think, what is, for a very, very lay person, what is the risk associated in this deal? You know, as a professional who has a job somewhere who wants to invest this one lakh. Uh, and so please, very transparently, could you just elaborate on the risks associated? So, uh, Shaina, there are two major risks in this deal. One is the credit risk and another is the liquidity risk. Uh, first, I'll cover the second part, which is liquidity risk. Liquidity risk is nothing. Say, if you need money after nine months, you would not be able to get out of this uh, opportunity and uh, sell it in the market uh, uh, easily. So there is no readily available market. So you, uh, So our advice to the investor would be, they should park only that quantum of money which they are sure that they would not require for next 15 months. So that, this is the first risk. The, uh, there is no readily available secondary market for credibility of these NCDs. Second is uh, like in any loan product is the credit risk. Say what? So there is a chance, uh, albeit very small in this opportunity, the company's business model may get affected and uh, uh, some portion of their capital may be may be defaulted. So this is the another risk. 
though we have done our own due diligence uh, there could be fraud uh, there are different business risk that happen in such cases so uh, the investor should also be aware that these are not uh, 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 there is an element of credit risk in such opportunities so our advice to the investor should be that they should only park uh, those uh, uh funds uh, which uh, they are putting into equity so these opportunities lie somewhere between fd and equities so they are riskier than fd but less riskier than equity so some portion of their equity which is market linked they should put into such alternate investment opportunities okay but uh, vikas uh, any person would want to ask just after this as to what if you know what if there is a default so what uh, what does a retail investor look at in in that case so shana ncd is a product which is regulated by sebi and under companies act and uh, both of the these agencies and the law has given a fair amount of protection for the debenture holders so the uh, debenture holders are the investors who would put in the money so there is a third party which is a specialist in the form of trustee which is a deben- which is called debenture trustee and it's a, a third party which is separate from giraffe or the issuer and the job of that entity is to make sure that all the interests of debenture holders are taken care of in case uh, there is any delay in the payment uh, or any default happening on the uh, be- on behalf of the borrower uh, the debenture trustee will take the corrective measure it will follow up with the company and if needed it will take the legal recourse and uh, uh, by if there is any recovery uh, since these are secured loans so they may take a longer time to resolve because of indian law system but whatever the recovery is there it will be distributed by the debenture trustee and debenture trustee is an agency which is certified by sebi and is into this business specifically only okay okay so so more or less there is the risk element has been uh, mitigated and covered in a lot of ways uh, you know by giraffe and you have you have basically placed this entire opportunity and you know uh, put it together in such a way that the retail investor though tends to gain but uh, is not so is not so uh, you know it doesn't have that risk uh, element to that extent which is usually seen in these kind of opportunities yeah so shana very beautifully put so we are trying to uh, offer the products which are actually available in the hni market and if somebody has to invest in these products as pratik said earlier these are the products which have been there for quite a long time for last 20 to 25 years but the investors uh, uh, due to knowledge or uh, or the internet or the accessibility were not able to invest in these products so what uh, giraffe is trying to do it is trying to bring those uh, high qualities uh, opportunities to the investors and breaking down the investment size so the current uh, minimum ticket size is 1 lakh and uh, as you rightly mentioned we have uh, m- done extra due diligence the uh, but the ncd itself is rated by an external agency credit rating agency and it has given a triple b plus uh, credit rating which is uh, somewhere in uh, under uh, so in the middle of the spectrum of the rating agency and it is a secured bond it is uh, uh, it is uh, listed on uh, on the N- nsc and bsc though it is not publicly traded and there is a debenture trustee who takes care of the interest of the debenture holders so Uh, in nutshell it's uh, riskier than an fd but uh, uh, much l- much less risky than um, than a equity product which or the crypto or any other such products which are there in the market got it so uh, these were the questions that uh, i wanted to ask to make things very very clear to our listeners today now i'm going to open the floor to our listeners and we have a lot of them so uh, you know they can freely ask whatever i'm sure they have a lot of questions regarding this opportunity and various technicalities involved in it so uh, please uh, uh, send me a request uh, you know as a speaker uh, to add you as a speaker or raise your hand i'll add you as a speaker 
and uh, and you can fire away questions and prateek and vikas i'm sure will uh, be more than happy to uh, take these questions so please uh, uh i am i've already got one request so please keep sending me requests i'll add you one by one and uh, uh so rahul you can uh, ask your question now yeah am audible yes yes rahul yeah audible. first of all hi shaina uh, hi uh, vikas and hi prateek so yeah and thank you so much for i think uh, putting light on this uh, new opportunity so i have just one question uh, maybe maybe from a business perspective is uh, let's say i'm a retail investor and i'm just putting uh, thought that uh, to put money into this alternative investment opportunity maybe let's say a company name x right maybe i'm not sure about the maybe i'm not aware about the depth but what kind of because see uh, if i am a potential retailer maybe i am assured of the returns in terms of as you said about uh, the debenture trust or the kind of rating done by the agency but if i just have to got to know about what where my money is going to be invested like okay because that might give us a idea as to is it going to be a riskier or not maybe uh is is my question through what i'm trying to say yeah Rahul, yeah. yeah Rahul, i could understand and maybe i'll uh, re- i'll just ask uh, retrade the question and seek your confirmation if i've understood it correctly so you are asking uh, the money that you are giving uh, giving to this company where will that be invested is that a right understanding yes yes okay so uh, rahul the, I, as i said in the starting this is a company which is into which is a non banking financial company nbfc and it is into business of giving consumer durable loans so the main business of the company that it gives consumer durable loans so your money shall be used to further give those loans okay got it got it i can okay i think this is again kind of uh, vc like bajaj finance or oh, small consumer exactly. okay got it got yeah it. so uh, bajaj finance is one of the competitor of this company very rightly mentioned okay thank you thank you got it thank you rahul so in the meantime uh, prateek uh, or vikas if you could help me uh, as to how uh, can you give a little step by step uh, procedure as to how to invest i mean practical steps uh, towards investing in this uh, in this opportunity uh, prateek would like to start, take that i think the process is sure because i think the process is fairly simple uh, shaina which is uh, we request anyone who's interested to come and register them uh, themselves on our platform which is going by www.giraffe.com giraffe is spelled as j i r a a f once you log in there is a simple kyc process which will ask for your aadhar which will ask for your pan which will ask for your bank details where the money has to be transferred when over these instruments redeem themselves and then you can click on that specific opportunity you can express whatever investment amount you want to do and essentially then it's a fully uh, online process where through net banking the money will go and you will see the ncds in your dmat account all the papers which are about two agreements are also signed digitally and on the platform itself so the kyc process will only take about 3 minutes so we encourage everybody on this call to at least try that and and come and register on our platform absolutely and in fact uh, before i take any further questions uh, uh, i would want to tell you that uh, uh, twitter handle giraffe underscore official and giraffe again spelled as j i r double a f uh, uh, will be very very happy to answer all your queries regarding registration taxation uh, investment and if you're not able to get through to them you can dm prateek or vikas or even fin medium and we'll be happy to uh, send your queries through to uh, the vikas or prateek or the giraffe's official handle so uh, just just take note of that the all of them are speakers right now so you can you'll probably be able to uh, you know identify uh, who these people are 
so yes i'll just check if there are any further questions because the because the entire talk has made the uh, opportunity so clear so i think uh, we okay i have one more question i'm just adding devang you're a speaker now please feel free to ask your question question uh, pratik ji se hai ek uh, simple question hai is it risky or safe devang i think everything that offers any return will have some risk even fd may the risk is what if the bank doesn't exist tomorrow so anything that moves up will always have risk now as an investor we have to see that is the return proportionate to the risk that we take in this case ye externally rated hai ye nbfc 6000 crore asset pe hai ye bahut saal se hai but risk to fir bhi rahega kyunki jaise dhfl ka fiasco hua tha तो उस उस आ, उस कंसर्न से हम देखें डीएचएफएल का जो वहां पे फियोस्को हुआ था उसकी अलग डिटेल है आई थिंक मिस गवर्नेंस के जो डिजास्टर होते हैं उनकी अलग ही कहानी होती है इस केस में एटलीस्ट अगर बिजनेस एज यूजुअल है तो अब तो कोविड भी हो चुका है उनके नंबर्स भी वेबसाइट पे हैं पब्लिश्ड हैं एक्सटर्नली रेटेड है रिस्क फिर भी रहेगा बट एटलीस्ट डिटेल सब ऑनेस्टली बाहर है Okay, thank you, sir. Just to further build on what Pratik has said, Devanji, देखिए कोई भी opportunity में जब भी आप किसी को पैसा देते हैं दो चीज होती है सामने वाली की नीयत है नहीं है पैसा देने की और सामने वाली की capability या औकात है नहीं है So what happens in most of the cases, we जो अपनी rating एजेंसी है या हम लोग हैं हम लोग असेस करते हैं कि सामने वाले में इतना दमखम है कि वो पैसा वापस कर पाएगा नहीं कर पाएगा और जो नियत होती है हम लोग उसका कंपनी का बैकग्राउंड चेक करते हैं जैसे इस केस में हमने देखा ये कंपनी का जो पेरेंट एंटिटी है पीपीएफ ग्रुप वो 25 देशों में है उसकी बैलेंस शीट पे 40 बिलियन डॉलर है विच इज अराउंड चालीस बिलियन यूरो सॉरी तो कुछ दो तीन लाख करोड़ की बैलेंस शीट है होम क्रेडिट ग्रुप इसी नाम से नौ नौ देशों में है और वो उन्नीस सौ से ये काम कर रहा है और यही धंधा कर रहा है वो नौ देशों में वो देश हैं चाइना फिलीपींस थाईलैंड इंडोनेशिया इंडिया सो इंडिया की तरह ही कंट्रीज में काम कर रहा है और हमने ये देखा कि इंडिया में भी वो 2012 से है उसके उसकी बैलेंस शीट पे उसकी रिलेशनशिप बीस बैंक के साथ है उसने साढ़े करोड़ रुपये पैसा उठाया हुआ है ये सब कहने के बाद आपका पॉइंट बिल्कुल सही है डीवान हाउसिंग फाइनेंस लिमिटेड डीएचएफएल हुआ आपका यस बैंक हुआ जिसका एटी वन बॉन्ड्स हुआ आपका आईएलएफएस हुआ उन सब में उनको रेटिंग एजेंसी ने ट्रिपल ए या डबल ए प्लस दिया गया था लेकिन कोई भी उनमें जो फ्रॉड रिस्क था वो कोई नहीं डिटेक्ट कर पाया तो अगर वो होता है तो दैट इज दैट इज वाई वी से इन सब अपॉर्चुनिटीज में देर एलिमेंट ऑफ रिस्क लेकिन वॉट टू वी हैव डन ऐसे केसेस में आप क्या करते हैं हम लोग टेनर स्मॉल रखते हैं इसलिए हमने क्या किया है ये प्रोडक्ट का टेनर से पंद्रह महीने रखा है और हर नब्बे दिन में आपको पैसा आता रहेगा आपको बीस बीस परसेंट पैसा आपका वापस मिलता रहेगा जैसे जैसे आपका पैसा वापस मिलता है आपका रिस्क ऑफ डिफॉल्ट कम होता रहता है सो so, हमारी एडवाइस यही होगी कि आपको ज्यादा से ज्यादा अपॉर्चुनिटीज में डाइवर्सिफाई करना चाहिए आपको कम से कम टेनर देखना चाहिए जब उस कंपनी का ट्रैक रिकॉर्ड बनना चाहिए तभी आपको एक सब्सटेंशियल अमाउंट उसमें डालना चाहिए ओके ओके थैंक यू सर थैंक यू देवांग आदेश यू आर अ स्पीकर प्लीज फील फ्री टू आस्क योर क्वेश्चन प्रतीक जी और विकास जी हाउ डू यू कंपेयर दिस विद द 12% क्लब दे आल्सो गिव 12% रिटर्न ठीक है उसमें देर इज अ लिमिटेशन इन टर्म्स ऑफ द मैक्सिमम इन्वेस्टमेंट बीइंग वन लाख रुपी बट इन एटलीस्ट इन दैट केस वी आर सीइंग दैट मनी ग्रो ऑन अ डेली बेसिस एंड देर इज नो लॉक इन पीरियड वी कैन विदड्रॉ इट एनी टाइम सो जस्ट अ लिटिल बिट कंपैरिजन विद दिस एंड आपसे मैं जानना चाहूंगा जब आप 12 परसेंट क्लब में पैसा डालते हैं आपको रिटर्न तो मिल रहा है क्या आपको पता है आप किसको पैसा दे रहे हैं नो आइडिया सर 
कहा जा रहा है पता नहीं यही ये सबसे बड़ा डिफरेंस है आपको पता ही नहीं है कि आपका पैसा आपने किसको दिया है तो आपको रिस्क भी नहीं पता है अभी आपको शॉर्ट टर्म में आपको रिटर्न मिल रहा है वह इसलिए आपको वो अपॉर्चुनिटी अच्छा लग रहा है वो हो सकता है लिक्विड हो वो कंपनी कैसे कर रही है वो पी टू पी प्लेटफॉर्म पे कर रही है लेकिन वो कैसे कर रही है जब आपको पता ही नहीं पैसा क्या जाएगा तो उसमें रिस्क कैसे मालूम पड़ेगा हमारी अपॉर्चुनिटीज में क्या है आपको सामने वाला पार्टी पता है उसका ट्रैक रिकॉर्ड आपको पता है एक बड़ी कंपनी है जो 6000 करोड़ की है जो इंडिया में 8 साल की है 8 साल से है 20 बैंकों ने उसे पैसा दिया है जो खुद जो पेरेंट है वो खुद 25 कंट्रियों में धंधा करता है तो आ, मेरे ख्याल से जो कंपैरिजन है वो थो, थोड़ा सा अनफेयर होगा आपको ये भी नहीं पता होगा जो आपने ट्वेल्व क्लब का आपने एग्जाम्पल लिया कि सामने वाला कितने पे पैसा उठा रहा है हो सकता है सामने वाले को 18 परसेंट पे पैसा मिल रहा हो और आपको सिर्फ 12 परसेंट रिटर्न मिल रहा हो हमारे केस में आप अगर हमारी वेबसाइट पे जाएंगे डॉक्यूमेंट सेक्शन में जाएंगे कंपनी ने एक प्राइवेट प्लेसमेंट ऑफर लेटर होता है क्योंकि जो कि 40 या 45 पेज का डॉक्यूमेंट है उसमें सारी डिटेल्स मैंशन करी हुई है तो ये एज ए स्ट्रक्चर थोड़ा सा डिफरेंस है आई थिंक आदेश जी मैं दो पॉइंट और ऐड करना चाहूँगा मार्केट में बहुत प्रोडक्ट होंगे आई थिंक एज जिराफ हम लोग जो करने की कोशिश करें वो ये है कि जहाँ भी आपका पैसा जाए वो आपको पता हो आपको रिस्क पता हो आपको ट्रांसपेरेंटली सारे डॉक्यूमेंट पता हो और फिर अगर आप इन्वेस्ट करना चाहें तो वो चॉइस भी आपके पास हो थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच आई थिंक यू नेल्ड इट विद प्रूफ और डिगे थैंक यू thank you adesh so i think that's why uh, giraffe stands uh, a bit different from uh, other other such similar companies i think transparency is a very big strength they are carrying and along with due diligence uh, and transparency you know they they are giving that sort of a very solid platform where uh, where there is a lot of relief knowing that so much is being done by giraffe themselves so the retail investor has a has has people to count on you know there is accountability so as as they mentioned in the beginning so yes sir so that is that is why it is a very attractive opportunity uh prakhar you want to ask your question yeah uh hello everyone so uh my question is like this is kind of a like a ncd deal so uh, uh are there any other kind of deals also available on your platform uh which we can like cross upon and what kind of return do they offer also like uh, what kind of deals have been you been offering in your past so prakar uh, ours is a horizontal alternate investment platform what you will see is different deals across variance yields and tenor and typically these yields will be between 8 to 20% tenor would be from 90 days to about 3 years these deals would be corporate debt this could be structured credit this could be leasing this could be invoice discounting this could be venture debt so those are the five broad product segments where we want to operate so whenever you log into our platform we hope you will be able to see opportunities across these but at any point you will see two or three or there will be two or three that will come more so we want to offer the investors an opportunity to build their fixed income portfolio and hence we by definition we have to offer a variety of products okay thank you thank you prakar uh, we have another handle by the name uh, samarth samarth uh, you are a speaker do you want to ask your question please yeah uh, just wanted to ask uh, one question uh, whether this uh, uh, do we have an uh, uh, apk and yani a play store availability or we need to access this through the web web page of the company and second uh, is this uh, relative to falcon and uh, 12% the type of investments availability on the falcon that is invoice discounting and on 12% the regular return and uh, and the uh, third thing uh, what about the taxation part so i'll i'll take this question uh, thank you thank you for that one at the moment we are only accessible through web uh, that can be both access through a desktop as well as on your mobile browser we don't have an app but you can access the website on your mobile browser it's quite mobile friendly to your second question falcon at the moment does invoice discounting 
uh, invoice discounting is only one of the products for us. We have four others as I had responded to the previous one. So when you come to our platform, you will find a larger variety of products and across again, yields and tenors. To your third question, taxation. I think taxation is different for different products. What you'll find on our website and whenever you log in is or whenever you invest in a product, that the taxation for that specific product would be mentioned in the collaterals that are shared. So you would know before investing what is the tax applicable and what would be the pre-tax and post-tax yield. Is that okay, Samarth? Is yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Vimal, you can ask your question now. Vimal, you'll have to unmute uh, in case you're trying to speak. So I think we don't have Vimal. Uh, Naveen, are you uh, able to hear me? Yes. Uh, hi, Prakit. Uh, my question is, uh, are these uh, the present ones listed or unlisted, uh, Pratik? This is an unlisted opportunity. Uh, uh, could you uh, please explain what's the main difference between listed and unlisted in terms of uh, uh, operations and the taxation? I think this one Vikas can answer better than me. So I'll hand over to him. Yeah, hi, Naveen. So, uh, so it's not, uh, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's, it's, the I sign is available on the NSC and BSC. And when it is not publicly listed uh, opportunity, the issuer, in this case, home credit group, will uh, deduct the 10% uh, tax on the interest, just like FD. So that is the only difference. And uh, obviously, uh, being, uh, being an unlisted opportunity, there are limited avenues to sell it. And therefore, you carry the liquidity risk. So this is these are the two main differences. I think just on the taxation part, uh, Vikas, correct me if I'm wrong. The interest income that that is generated will be taxed as per your tax lab. Yes, but uh, the returns that would be credited to your account will be. 10% net of the interest. So if somebody is in the 0% tax bracket, he can claim the refund from the income tax uh, authorities. And I believe there is also a, a difference of uh, what would constitute a long term uh, in, in case of unlisted. I think it is 36 months versus 12 months for listed. Is that correct? Not really. So this, this, this is anyway uh, less than 15. Uh, it's less than three years opportunity. So, and it is coming in the form of interest. So, uh, I don't think so there's a difference. What you're talking about is regarding the capital gains tax, which comes into picture if it's sold after three years or less than three years. But uh, since this, the returns in this case are in the form of interest, there will not be any difference. Okay. Uh, Pratik, my uh, last question is, how do we get in touch with you? Is a, a live WhatsApp channel available or how do we contact you quickly? Yes, uh, our email address and WhatsApp channel are available. Uh, my own email address is pratwk dot g at giraffe dot com. Please feel free to to write to us or to drop me a message on Twitter itself. Uh, we'll be very happy to talk to you. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Naveen. So once again, I think giraffe underscore official is their official. Uh, handle and uh, please DM your questions for whoever had requested and then have dropped out as speakers. That you can you can directly uh, send your questions to them. Feel free to register on their website. Uh, even if you're not uh, uh, investing in this particular opportunity, you can always go register, do your KYC process, so that you can readily invest in. Uh, all their upcoming opportunities. Uh, for my own knowledge, Pratik, uh, Vikas, uh, when is this issue closing? I think, Shanel, let me take that one. This is, uh, I think it will be there for another two to three weeks, unless, of course, some large investor comes and takes a good chunk of it, which we hope will happen. Our own urge to investors is invest as early as possible, but we do think that it will be there on the platform for at least the next two, three weeks. 
Wonderful, wonderful. So there is, uh, there is time, and we hope so too that a large chunk is taken uh, uh, as soon as possible, and it's a super hit uh, opportunity for all you guys. So uh, I think uh, any closing remarks, Vikas, Pratik, anything you would like to add before we close the session? I think from my side, it is always better to invest early, specifically if you are convinced. Also, in case this opportunity is not your liking, please still register on the platform because over the next few months, we'll continue to bring new opportunities, which we hope will be very useful to, to investors, everyone on this call. So we hope to see you on the Giraffe platform. And from my side, thanks, Shaina, for hosting us. And it's always a pleasure to talk to you. And uh, special thanks to the audiences who have logged in at, uh, um, on Monday at 9, 9 o'clock in the night uh, to hear to us. So really thankful to all of you. Thank you. Thank you, Pratik. Thank you, Vikas, for enlightening us with this opportunity. And uh, as we are closing, I'm getting a couple of more requests. Do you think we should close this or should we take uh, another couple of questions? What do you think, Vikas? I'm okay, as long as you allow us. <laughs> I think let's, let's uh, take uh, two more questions before we close it so that uh, there is... Uh, uh, just to add here, in any case, uh, if uh, the time is short, uh, you can reach us uh, out through our website and uh, write to us on support at giraffe.com. And uh, uh, you already have our Twitter handle. You can DM us and write to us uh, on our Twitter handle. We'll get back to you. So even uh, our official handle, Giraffe, has also joined this call. Uh, you can tag that on the queries and we'll get back to you. Uh, Shine over to you. So we have I've added Prathamesh as a speaker. Prathamesh, yeah. please go ahead and ask your question. Yeah, hi, Giraffe team. Yeah, I had a query. Uh, this is with regards to monitoring perspective of an investment opportunity. So what generally happens is that whenever you uh, invest in some kind of instrument, let's say for example NCDs. So during the start of the uh, during the start of that particular tenure it's quite clear that the underlying receivables, maybe uh, the underlying would be in the form of receivables or it could be in the form of secure uh, some project as well. So project uh, and a certain amount of uh, security cover being stipulated against that project. So at the start, it's very clear that the numbers are very much clear. But over a period of time, how do you monitor uh, the underlying receivables? Let's say if it's uh, some receivable discounting product uh, which has been underwritten. So how do you monitor those things? How do you uh, inform the investors about this? Do they get uh, reports uh, on, and on, if at all they get those reports, on what is the frequency of those reports? And is there any third party, I mean, doing the assessment for this? So basically, that is something I wanted to understand as to how do you monitor that uh, the investment, whatever has been committed shall be achieved and the underlying as well remains intact, basically. Thank you. Sure. Thanks, thanks Pratamesh. So uh, to answer your first part, uh, uh, in this structure of NCD, what uh, we have stipulated is all the standard assets. What does that mean? Uh, standard loans, rather, I would uh, use the layman term. Uh, standard means uh, anything which is not overdue, principal or interest for 90 days should be part of our security. And as you have rightly mentioned, at the start of the uh, NCD and when the, the launch is being done, this is being monitored. Or what we have done as a giraffe, the company will share us the data on quarterly basis over their health of the monitoring, how the company is doing. And on monthly basis, company will monitor whether any, any of the security has gone bad and replace it with the new loans. So we would be getting this data directly from the company on a monthly basis. We will be monitoring it. Plus, in this case, as I had mentioned earlier, there is a debenture trustee. And the, this is the duty and responsibility of the debenture trustee to ensure that what has been agreed in the agreement is followed to the T. So debenture trustee will also be getting this report on the monthly basis and they will be making sure that uh, the security remains up to date. Any loans which have gone, gone bad for the issuer needs to be replaced by a pool of new loans 
or or any other liquid security so this is how we are ensuring that the security that we have uh, stipulated remains intact and is uh, and uh, is uh, and the interest is not compromised for the investor i think uh, prathamesh what i will also add is that as giraffe we will continue to ensure this for all our products and opportunity that after the investment the real work begins which is to monitor the quality of the asset all of our all of our agreements will have default conditions will have covenants that what happens as vikas said what happens if some of your loans go bad in case you will have to replace it with different receivables so all that is monitored by our team we certainly keep investors port posted about significant events if these are tenured opportunities maybe a 3 month or 6 month event not perhaps for 90 days but asset monitoring is a key function for giraffe understood understood thank you so we'll take the last question uh, rahul you can go ahead and ask your question and uh, that will be our last question yes rahul please go ahead yeah sure uh maybe a quick last question so i think uh, as i think uh, vikas mentioned earlier as the, this would be like the it would be helping in terms of financing the consumer durable loans so is the operation going to be done by giraffe on its own or is it to be done by any third party i full i didn't fully understand the question rahul could you elaborate further See, I think let's say from a retailer perspective, I think we'll be in investing in an NCD. I think this NCD uh, that funding is going to go to a giraffe, right? And giraffe would be working as a part of like okay, funding for the consumer durable or any third party would be working for funding those two, uh, those kind of consumer durable loans. No, so uh, Rahul, there is a slight uh, difference in the understanding. In this case, uh, giraffe had identified a company. which is by the name of home credit this company is raising money through the ncd and this company will is into the business of giving consumer durable loans and uh, these loans are offered as a security underlying this ncd so what we have done as a giraffe we have approached this company did their assessment uh, the due diligence we did their due diligence and then Uh, we have listed this opportunity on our platform so we underwrote this uh, opportunity entirely now we are offering it to our investors okay basically giraffe is providing uh, paws service right platform as a service right that's what i can say yeah. yes you can say that okay got it got it maybe just to add the money actually goes to home credit which has as as vikas said has been in the business of giving loans for quite some time yeah yeah got it so china i think our first uh, first question was asked by rahul and i think the last question has also been asked by rahul today <laughs> yes so yes thank you rahul and thank you vikas and prateek for uh, uh, answering those questions for any other questions please uh, send them a message and they'll be very very happy to take these questions or send us a message and we'll pass on the question uh, or your query to uh, giraffe's uh, team here so thank you prateek thank you vikas and thank you everyone who uh, joined on this uh, monday evening or working the evening at this hour i'm sure they are very very interested in the opportunity so all the best to giraffe and thank you everyone and i'll end the session good night good night guys thank you thank you shaina good night thank, thank you, you shaina thank you good night good night everyone